start of day three. Um, had an interesting night in a, in a tent at 2,500 meters. Uh, quite quite warm in a, in a nice down sleeping bag uh, when the clouds were in, but as soon as the clouds went, I started forming on the inside of the tent and condensation on the outside of the uh, sleeping bag. It was a bit chilly, but no, I survived. Uh, unzipped my tent to see the sun slowly creeping over the, uh, the peaks of the Atlas Mountains. So. gorge system you can see behind me. Uh, the only last sort of five minutes was this steep pass. Uh, this is probably the only place you could pass due to the steep side of the gorge. So this is the other side of the pass as you can hear it's a bit windy but it's just a sea of mountains. In fact down there's the path we're going to be taking. And then coming along this ridge line, we cross over to the clouded area that is Mount Tubkal. Just at the, uh, the end of day three, uh, descended quite some way actually, uh, from that mountain pass at 3,000 to uh, to 1,730 meters, so uh, almost come down sort of, the way. Uh, behind us, uh, perfect timing. I'm uh, back after uh, evening prayers. And I decided to have a shower while that, that was going on. Um, what you can see behind me is the Avalo. We'll be walking up tomorrow. We're going to walk up. Uh, it's apparently, there's quite a large lake. Uh, I'm going to wild camp uh, outside this lake, uh, which could be interesting. Uh, I think that's around 3,200 metres. And then, and then from there we're going to be going over a mountain pass. But uh, to give you some idea of the peaks you can see up behind me are lower than the ones we're going to be summiting. I feel my heart for the first time Cause now 